The silent majority are guilty by their silence. Don't be a goat. Use your vote. Hello. Here's a message for the people of London. Hello. I'm a career politician. Oh yes. Politics is the only job I've ever had in my life. Oh yes. Now, I haven't come from two rooms in Brixton to 10 Downing Street. Oh no. But I have promised you this, that I would get right back to basics. And getting back to basics is exactly what I have done. Oh yes. Not only have I done that, I have done it with Edwina Curry. <laughs> it was lovely. Yes, we got right back to basics. We were like a pair of wild basic beasts. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, another bit of a skit sketch to warm you up there, just to grab your attention, because this is actually quite a serious uh, piece of cinematography in the making here. And uh, it's a very urgent call to arms, really, concerning the mayoral elections, which are coming up very, very soon on the 1st of May. May Day! May Day! May Day! Yes. And um, why is May Day so important this year? Well, let's think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Politicians, I don't think any of you really like them, do you? You don't really like the career politicians. And I'm going to prove to you in a minute that you don't like them as well. Uh, how do I know that you don't like career politicians? How do I know that you think they're slimy, conniving, self-serving, uh, snake oil salespeople, uh, perhaps? How do I know this? Well, let me tell you how I know this. Because in the previous two GLA mayoral elections in London, only about one-fifth of the population bothered bothered to go and vote for the mayor of London yeah so that much went and voted this much went to the pub after work or did a bit of extra hard work because their boss was threatening to fire them or something or maybe they went and watched Big Brother or some meaningless dross on television or even on the internet perhaps they you know surfed uh, around um, well before YouTube's time but perhaps they surfed around Yahoo or whatever was fashionable in those days. Anyway, the point is, that much of London failed to vote, okay? And this much of London is actually bitching and moaning quite a lot about the consequences of their not voting. Now, I can understand you not wanting to vote because I too believe that career politicians, people who've never really had much of a job in their lives other than lying to people, <laughs> promising them stuff that they can't deliver uh, to get their votes and then effing them off for five years until they need them again when all of a sudden they come around cringing, fawning and kissing their bottoms all over again. I too am against these career politicians. And that's why I think this particular website, londonelectu.co.uk, is such a marvellous innovation. Because, let's face it ladies and gentlemen, we now have the opportunity to actually use this vote this vote that our forefathers probably ran at machine gun nests for. Yes, this vote that so many people in other parts of the world can't possibly enjoy because they live in regimes where they are oppressed or where elections are predetermined or fixed. Uh, so, you know, it's a real privilege and it's a sh damn shame, damn shame not to vote. So. Let's use it this year because we have an opportunity this year to vote for somebody who isn't a career politician. We have an opportunity to have, for the Mayor of London, a person of the people, not a snake oil salesman, not a career politician, who we're sick and bloody tired of. Because let's face it, in London, we've got the whole of Whitehall and Westminster, which is national government pretty much, isn't it? Yeah? We've got all of those buggers, haven't we? Yeah? Lying and conniving. Generally, there's one or two nice ones, don't get me wrong, let me generalise, let me stereotype. We have also no less than 33 local governments. So 33 boroughs in Greater London where lots more career politicians are self-serving at our expense, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, our public funds are paying for these self-serving, conniving snake oil salespeople. Yes, and in addition to those two layers of bureaucracy and politicking and self-interest serving we have in London, we have a third layer at the GLA, 
yes, a third layer of bureaucracy, duplicating and indeed triplicating what we already have on a national and local level, and costing us, costing us, well, in my case, almost £400 a year, on top of the almost £1,200 a year that my local borough takes off me, in exchange for, for what I hear you ask, services, services. I don't even get a wheelie bin where I live, but apparently I'm receiving services, and £400 is being taken by the GLA when they're already taxing me for driving my car into a certain part of London that I've already paid road tax on once, I've already paid local borough tax for upkeep of roads, I've already paid vehicle excise duty and tax every time I fill my tank up 80% of the money, which is a huge amount these days, is going to tax, which is supposedly for roads. But no! I'm being taxed again eight pounds, and I'm being told that if I drive the wrong kind of car, a kind of car that certain political people don't like, certain snake oil salespeople object to, because it might be a little bit larger than their car, for example, I could be charged twenty-five pounds a day in future, and the area could expand to be the whole of Greater London. Yes. So it's very important that you vote. It's very, very important that you vote, and it's very important that you don't vote for somebody who bitches, backstabs, connives, lies, cheats, and wants your vote. Don't vote for career politicians. Come to this site, londonelectu.co.uk, and vote for the person of the people, a person that's going to put aside all the politically correct crap, all the waste of your money, and get on with making London efficient, profitable, and an enjoyable, safe, healthy place to live for you and me and everyone else that has to try and earn a crust here. Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please, whatever you do, just vote. I don't care who you vote for, just vote, just vote. Because Hitler had one third of the German electorate's vote. One third, two thirds of Germans in the 30s, the silent majority sat on their rumps and didn't vote and look what happened, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the British National Party, who are a far-right fascist party, who'd want to get rid of all the decent footballers and athletes and rappers that we have in this city, if they had their way, they're getting about 5-6% of the vote as well. So, you better bloody well use your vote, OK? May the 1st. Mayday! 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 Thanks a lot. See you at the polling booths. Yeah, man. I forgot one thing, right? Because, like, them is trying to get the youth vote, okay? But them don't know nothing about the youth. And them will say all kind of thing and thing and thing to try and get the youth to vote for them. But the youth is not stupid. The youth is wise. The youth know that them is a load of numpties. And them can't snap and them can't rap. If them can't rap, don't vote for them. If them can't snap, don't vote for them. If them can't do human beatbox, don't vote for them. Vote for one of your own kind. Vote for a youth from London that can do this. Wicked no, wicked no. Vote youth. Thank you very much, Anting. I.